Hello guys, my name is JB Dan, and today I will show you how to create your very own quiz on C Sharp WinForm app. Here, I got an example. This is a question: Who is the founder of Microsoft? We all know him. We all heard him. We all know the name. It's Bill Gates. Your answer is correct. What happened if I answer Steve Jobs, or in this case, the incorrect answer? Your answer is incorrect. Now I will show you how to do that. It's really simple, actually. It's no wizard craft. Basically, you have to add three label, search up label right here. Now, as you can see here, put your label first. You put your first label label here, then your second la label here for the question, and your third label here down here. Now, it should be noted that your third label itself must not have text for transparency. Put your text box. Here, text box and button. There we go. Button. Now ignore that. As you can see here, rename your button answer. Here, this is the text. And rename your label scroll down here now as you can see here your label is your question so you can put any question you like so scroll down to text here I suggest you to put it on alphabetical order now double click this button here and this is the code here now let's let us explain shall we let me explain to you all what are these code does now as you can see here this checks if the answer is correct now this is the answer Bill Gates now if the user entered the correct the correct answer it will trigger a text right here saying that your answer is correct if the user answered otherwise or in this case answered with a different answer that is not correct then it will trigger this text right here basically it's it is simple as that this is the text box input it's basically checks it now if you want to create more level then you can add function in this correct one your answer is correct and you can basically add an opening dialog but that's just pretty much it okay guys that is that is it for now guys if you like this video please subscribe like and comment i hope you find this tutorial very helpful thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video goodbye Thank you.